Recently, a discovery in space created excitement among scientists and sky watchers. A statement by Bill Nye, a popular science communicator, drew attention when he revealed that Voyager 1 had detected 300 massive objects drifting in the darkness. The announcement caused curiosity across the world, with many wondering what these mysterious objects could mean for our understanding of the universe. The questions started piling up like stars in the sky. What exactly are these objects? Where did they come from in the cosmic space? Are they natural formations or something else beyond imagination? These mysteries instantly connected back to the Voyager missions, humanity's longest running exploration efforts now venturing further into the cosmos than any other spacecraft. The Voyager story began in 1977 when Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were launched into the dark sky just weeks apart. Their original mission was straightforward yet ambitious, study Jupiter and Saturn with unprecedented detail and capture their mysterious planets. The success came quickly as the probes delivered stunning close-up images of swirling storms, glowing auroras, and incredible planetary moons. Voyager 2 didn't stop with just Jupiter and Saturn. It extended the cosmic journey, reaching Uranus in 1986 and Neptune in 1989. These encounters gave humanity its first breathtaking images of those faraway icy worlds. Together, these flybys became known as the Grand Tour, a remarkable planetary exploration made possible by gravitational assists from the planets themselves. The original plan for the voyages was only about five years, a short lifetime compared to today. But a groundbreaking idea from Michael Minovich about using a planet's velocity to slingshot a spacecraft farther gave the voyages the power to stretch their cosmic travel. Instead of stopping after their main targets, they kept moving outward, aiming for the edge of our solar system. By 2013, Voyager 1 crossed into interstellar space, the region beyond the sun's magnetic influence. It was as though the spacecraft stepped from a crowded solar neighborhood into a silent star-filled wilderness. In 2018, Voyager 2 followed, making it the second spacecraft to achieve this distant milestone. Both probes began studying the heliosphere, the invisible bubble created by solar wind that protects our solar system. At its edge lies the helipause, a shifting boundary where the sun's influence fades and interstellar space begins. Voyager 1 and 2 became the first instruments to measure the harsh, energetic environment beyond that protective bubble. Data showed that outside the heliosphere, cosmic rays are several times more intense. These findings painted a picture of a much more dangerous space for exploration than previously thought. Then, in 2023, Voyager 1 detected a faint humming sound in interstellar gas, like distant cosmic music vibrating through the galaxy. Nicola Fox, NASA's heliophysics leader, noted the importance of this discovery, emphasizing how, for 46 years, the Voyagers had changed our understanding of the Sun and its interaction with the wider galaxy. These achievements were remarkable, especially considering the spacecraft's limited power supply. Each probe runs on a radioisotope generator powered by decaying plutonium. Over decades, the heat produced decreases, lowering available energy. To conserve power, NASA has shut down heaters and non-essential systems, even though the freezing space environment threatened the instruments. Yet, despite the extreme cold, all five key instruments kept functioning since 2019, surprising scientists who thought they would fail. The helipause itself has shown unpredictable behavior. Instead of being stable, it shifts in shape like moving clouds, sometimes creating strange angles. In 2014, IBX, the interstellar boundary explorer, recorded sudden brightening of energetic particles, suggesting irregularities that existing models couldn't explain. 
These anomalies may even explain why Voyager 1 crossed into stellar space in 2012, while Voyager 2 did so six years later, showing the boundary is inconsistent. NASA plans to explore more with the upcoming IMAP probe in 2025, designed to map and study this mysterious region. But before that, Voyager 1 faced another strange challenge in 2023 when its Attitude Articulation and Control System, AACS, malfunctioned. This system keeps the spacecraft's antenna aligned with Earth across the cosmic void. Suddenly, Voyager 1's data became confused and random, like electronic aphasia in the vacuum of space. Oddly, the radio signal was still strong, and the antenna was aimed correctly. Its science instruments continued working normally, leaving engineers baffled by the strange glitch. Eventually, NASA realized the X had routed signals through an old, inactive computer, causing the error. The fix was simple, reroute data to the correct system. But the mystery remained why the X made such a decision. The leading theory is a stray instruction from another component. By now, Voyager 1 has traveled more than 10 years through interstellar space, exposed to strong cosmic rays without the sun's protective shield. Like Earth's magnetic field protects us, the heliosphere once shielded Voyager's delicate electronics. Without it, the probes are vulnerable to high-energy radiation. Susan Dart, Voyager's project manager, explained that glitches are expected. These spacecraft were designed for a few years, yet they've lasted nearly five decades in brutal space conditions. Their computers still run with only 70 kilobytes of memory, less than a digital watch today. Every NASA update takes nearly a full day to cross billions of miles, making engineers feel like the ultimate interstellar help desk. But despite this, both voyagers keep sending faint but valuable signals, continuing to guide humanity's vision into uncharted space. The probes themselves are the size of a small car, with instruments built in the 1970s. They revealed Jupiter's massive storms, Saturn's intricate rings, Uranus's sideways rotation, and Neptune's intense winds. They even spotted active volcanoes on Io and nitrogen geysers erupting from Triton's icy surface. Most intriguing were hints of underground oceans beneath Europa and Enceladus, potential homes for alien life. In 1990, Voyager 1 captured the iconic pale blue dot, Earth, seen as a faint speck across four billion miles, reminding humanity of its fragility in the vast cosmos. Even today, the probes at three to four light seconds of distance daily. NASA's Deep Space Network listens carefully to these faint whispers, extracting valuable data from the radio noise of Earth. These signals remind us how far human technology can reach into space. The Voyager mission was only possible thanks to a rare planetary alignment in the 1960s. Gravitational assists let a spacecraft reach Neptune in 12 years instead of 30. Budget constraints prevented a full grand tour, but the Voyagers still exceeded every expectation. Now, nearly half a century later, they remain humanity's farthest messengers, pushing into the dark galaxy. Their legacy shows that even simple technology, when built with care, can expand our knowledge of the universe and inspire future exploration beyond the stars of space. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.